Hi lovelies and welcome to the Witch's Cookery. The feast of abundance and the harvest of the fruit is here. Mabon, my favorite holiday on the wheel of year. I'm so excited to share my celebration ideas with you. Next to most delicious fall worthy kitchen witchery, I have some ideas about how to celebrate as a modern witchcraft practitioner with the symbolism of the autumn equinox and a little bit of the history behind Mabin. And because it's such a kitchen witch foodie holiday, we'll also be diving into the lore and use of pumpkins in spell work. Furthermore, I have a little bit of cottage witch craftiness for you, as we will be making an abundance charm that doubles as a festive fall decor. But before we dive into that, I need to share my joy with you. And an abundance holiday like Mabin calls for a little gift, right? So I am running a huge autumn flash sale on my website on all witchcraft retreats and online workshops. The spaces are very limited and the offer only stands until the 23rd of September, so be quick. And you can score a really good deal for a transformative witchcraft retreat where we dance around the fires, gaze at the stars, whisper to the moon and make lifelong friends. Or maybe you want to be guided through an entire month with daily prompts, journal questions, personalized rituals and five online meetups in the weekends to boost and expand your personal practice. All workshops and retreats are open to anyone regardless of experience level. And now I talked enough, let's go and enjoy this glorious time where summer slips into fall. September is one of those months that I personally love very dearly and always anticipate with the greatest joy. The shift from summer to fall is so beautiful and the golden light that we now get in the last warm summer days that already start with mist in the morning, leaving some wet and fragrant grass, the first leaves coloring, and then of course the cozy embrace of darkness that falls earlier every day and just makes one light so many candles. But we we do live in a world of social media and that does affect our mood, our actions, our thought processes a lot more than we might think. And I have an observation to share because we really seem to be living in extremes. Like we go from hot girl summer into spooky girl fall without any in between. Always want a complete full aesthetics. We rush from one seasonal decor into the next without enjoying those liminal times in between. In nature we have a natural transition of the entire thing. It doesn't go from one day to the next. And during the time of the equinox you can definitely feel that shift. And it's a subtle but not sudden shift. Transition from outdoor to indoor, from hot to cold, from light to darkness. Now the solstice is marked the day where the light starts to increase or decrease. The equinoxes mark the day where the scale tips where one wins over the other, so to say. So for me, it's always a real beginning of the darker half or the lighter half of the year. And one time has to end so the other one can commence. And while we might miss some of the joys of summer, we might also be looking forward to some of the merits that come with a cozier time of year. And as I always find it a wonderful time to live with the stars and the moon and the universe in general, natural shifts as they occur. I personally love to find one journal or meditation questions for each of the holidays. Autumn equinox is a great time to think about what things in your life need to end so that other things can begin. Or which things have ended and what did they now make time for? And allow yourself a couple of minutes to feel what you need to feel. Mindfully stand on a tipping point, get it clear for yourself where the scale is going at the moment and where you can shift your energy. Where I live, we are now blessed with an abundance of popping colors in nature. Bushes are laden with berries, fruit trees hang heavy with plums, apples and pears, and colorful late summer flowers show their glory. Mother Nature is rich with treasures and ready to share them with us, so I believe Mavend is called for a bit of abundance magic too. 
We are making a magic infused natural picture frame that you can hang in your home or use as a seasonal altar decor. If you're hosting a festive map and dinner for friends or family, you could also craft one of these for each of the guests and place a little personalized message of gratitude towards them or a personal blessing in there. I guarantee you this too will create abundance of warmth and love in you and your dear one's heart. First, you need some twigs, a ribbon and some gathered natural materials for decor. It is important to remember Remember that spell crafting does look different for everyone and is highly personal. While for some people it might feel most empowering or special to add different layers of meaning to their spell by picking certain ingredients, colors, numbers, symbols and so on, for other people that might actually distract from the essence of the spell and they rather prefer to keep it simple, quick and easy. Complicated doesn't equal powerful. And a little reminder for our beginner witches, you don't have to resort to a spell with you in line in books and so on. Simply choose the medium that brings you joy, that you find fitting, that that you are in a mood for and infuse it with your magical intention. It's not all candles, incense and ritual nice. I will tell you my personal thought process behind the steps and items I've chosen for my abundance spell. For each of the four sides of the frames I have used two twigs. I chose one slightly smaller and one slightly bigger twig for each side symbolizing the potential for growth through patience and perseverance. For the decor I use seasonal nature finds that I relate to abundance such as nuts and berries. Both are plentiful in nature this time of year. Rosips hold a multitude of little seeds inside that will blossom into new plants, bringing beauty, fragrant rose petals and nourishing fruit. Plants with thorns I like to weave in for protection of everything that is dear to me. And the oak tree for me symbolizes a never-ending grounding strength and stability. A mighty tree that provides shelter and nourishment to so much life. So I wanted its seeds, acorns, to lay exactly that potential for my abundance charm. Personally, I firmly believe that we create abundance mainly in our head and heart. For me, abundance is a personal feeling and not so much something that is measurable by certain norm standards. You can be the richest person in the world, but if you don't think about your wealth with gratitude and happiness, you might not feel abundant. You can be very poor in material things, but feel abundant with love and support because of the people in your life. Your day can be abundantly filled with happiness if you take the time to notice the little choice, the sun peeking through the clouds, the smell of fresh coffee from the kitchen, the luxury of having a space to retreat and that is all the magic. Charge your social batteries, a kind word to a loved one and you leave on your houseplant. All that is born from gratitude. The act of noticing even the smallest blessings and creating a warm and thankful feeling in your heart. Most of the things you consider standard or normal are unobtainable for a large amount of people and it doesn't hurt to make yourself aware of this from time to time. So while I craft my picture frame I weave in those grateful thoughts. My older hump dumpling was crafting one with me and we were talking about what we are happy about in our lives. Now that you finish your picture frame you can put your petition in it. You can do so by picking a picture of the item or feeling you want to bring more of into your life or you choose a card that represents it from your tarot or oracle deck. Alternatively, you can also put it in words on a nice piece of parchment and place it in the frame. If you are of a curious nature too, you enjoy to learn stuff, especially when it's related to witchcraft or seasonal holidays, I absolutely recommend looking into the symbolism for the holiday. That means plants, animals, stones, food, anything that you relate to a certain time of year. I'm pretty sure we unanimously can agree that uh, September is pumpkin spice latte month. And just like that, also the season of Mabon has different markers in nature that pop up. And obviously they differ from region to region. For me, Mabon is not only the autumn equinox, but it's a longer stretch of time that I see coming up outside my door when there is sunflowers, when there is squash and pumpkins popping up everywhere. And colors in nature are a really rich purple, the red of the berries or the apples on the tree, the golden pears, the rich brown of the soil when the rain starts in. And speaking of that richness and fullness, I also think of cornucopias, which are already made into a fantastic kitchen veg recipe. I'll link the video somewhere up here because if you have that on your table, people will be like, wow, okay. And you will be so proud of yourself. Another symbol for me as a Bavarian is the stag. Not only because we have a ton of beer festivals going on that time of year and all our traditional clothing has like antler jewelry or symbols or, you know, it's, it's, it's all over the place, but also because it's the start of the hunting season. So to also teach my crotch goblins a little bit more about this, we went to a local forest and we fed 
grab the deer there and I researched a little bit about the symbolism about the history and I told them some stories the people of old at least in this region saw the stag as a sign of renewal of never-ending life in a way because it loses its antlers in spring and then they grow again so the constant cycle of letting go of the old and bringing in the new is a lovely fitting theme for the autumn equinox and it's no wonder that in many cultures the stag was considered an animal of great power of light of fertility of that constant renewal that is so important to life because it's the natural cycle in greece mythology it was sacred to apollo the celts honored serunos as a sort of messenger between the worlds the germanic fertility god prayer was wearing an antler crown and even when europe was christianized specifically the arden region where the worship of the huntress goddess of diana was still very strong they came up with saint hubertus and the story of him hunting in the forest and then suddenly a stag appeared and he had this like shining bright cross and sun between its antlers and kind of like guided Hubertus to the light. You might remember it from your student days. It is on the Jägermeister bottle. Or maybe you don't remember. I don't blame you. So now that we're going into autumn, the nights are longer than the days. We are hunting that symbol of the sun of light. Of course, a harvest festival like Mervyn has to be celebrated with some decadent kitchen victory of seasonal produce and if I say so myself, I created a true masterpiece fully inspired by my cravings for strongly anticipated favorite fall drink. Let me present you with this basic veg goodie, pumpkin spice cake with a rich latte cream filling. It's honestly so much better than to drink and will put you right into the spirit of the season. But while we prepare the better, let's dive right into the magical properties of pumpkins. When we look at using it in spellwork or ritual, we often bring it in associations with attributes like fertility, love, abundance, prosperity, longevity and wealth. So lots and lots of good stuff that we probably like to have in our lives. It also is used for protective magic, but let's have a closer look where those associations stem from. Pumpkins belong to the squash or gourd family and we know quite a variety apart from the very well like bright orange Halloween pumpkin. What we think of as a typical pumpkin originated from South America and some Mexican tribes still believe pumpkin seeds give exceptional energy and endurance to the people that eat them. In Asia we find a lot of gourd related folk beliefs and symbolism. In Japanese medicine dried seeds are used to aid fertility and assigning fertility as a magical power to gourds or pumpkins makes sense in sympathetic magic too. After all they're round and big just like a pregnant belly and they carry many seeds inside. Bottle gourds or calabash have long been taken as auspicious objects in China. Due to their shape, they were used as containers for liquid and especially medicine in times past. In ancient times, doctors would often hang a bottle gourd in front of their stall. Gradually, bottle gourds evolved into a symbol that represented doctors of traditional Chinese medicine and with that health and longevity. As in some dialects, the Chinese pronunciation of it is homophonic with good fortune. It is commonly believed to be a magical item just for that. And it's still practiced in Wulu Feng Shui. Wulu being the gourd of longevity. And you would place it in different cardinal directions in your room to positively influence different areas of your life. In historic European customs, stretching from the British Isles to the Alpine regions of northern Italy, we find it custom to carve pumpkins, gourds, or depending on regional availability, turnips, into spooky faces and illuminate them with a candle. Depending on custom, they were either placed near the door or window or were carried through the streets, originally with the intent to scare away evil spirits. In Africa, specifically southwestern Nigeria, we know Oshun, the Yoruban river saint of fertility, love and wealth, to whom the pumpkin is a sacred device and is commonly used in many services done under her patronage. For example, a pumpkin smothered in honey is thrown in a river to gain fertility. To grow financial abundance, a pumpkin is filled with honey and coins and then given to the river. Well, I hope with that much magical potential I have convinced you that there really is nothing basic about a little bit of pumpkin spice latte cake that you should go and bake it right now to bring abundance, love and much more goodness to your Mabin table. Enjoy!